Hi, good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, we're going to be talking today about Siebel Assignment Manager and Reporting Mode. As some of you may be aware, the Assignment Object Extension is used for certain assignment objects to store details of reporting tables. For example, if we look at the Territory Management Opportunity Workflow Policy object and select the Assignment object, we'll see that it's a normal assignment object and uh, if we look underneath we'll see assignment object extension and in here we'll have information regarding the reporting table assignment manager reporting is used for what-if analysis to enable us to see what would happen if we executed assignment manager without actually changing the assignments we can think of it as a table where the snapshot of the results or a delta of the changes would be left after running Assignment Manager. So as a little bit of an exercise we've taken the Opportunity Assignment object and we have edited it to use the same table as the t TM Opportunity Assignment object since they're both fundamentally based on the same entity, Opportunity. And we have made all the necessary adjustments, that is to say we have changed this on the server repository and now we're going to run Siebel Assignment Manager in batch mode and we're going to add a few parameters specifically assignment object which we're going to use opportunity since it's our newly updated assignment object we're also going to use regular assignment value set to false which means the record assignments will not be changed and the third parameter that we'll be using is reporting mode set to true sorry reporting mode set to delta or to snapshot in our case we're going to leave it set to delta in order to see any changes before we execute our job we're going to go to our opportunities and understand the situation with our test data we have created an opportunity and this opportunity is currently assigned to sadmin as the creator the opportunity is related to an account and the account has an address in California in administration assignment assignment rules list for testing purposes we have created a rule in the default rule group that has a criterion of account state California and the candidates are from this list so mister Colin Banana in the position of French visa clerk should be assigned when this criterion is true. I'm going to release the rules and I'm going to go back to my server management job screen and I'm going to submit the job. Now the job will execute as normal. It's currently queued. Let's try again. I'm good. It's active. And we're going to go to our database here and we're going to study the table. So I will need to load up a new query so I will need to open an existing query and this query will simply look at the first few records in the table and as you can see there are now two records specifically I can see that there is one that has been added and one that has been removed our batch assignment is successful if we return to the opportunity screen we will see that the record is still assigned to sadmin no actual changes have been made However, if we take a moment, if we note down the row ID of this record, we'll notice that this opportunity has been subjected to some changes in the reporting table. One position has been dropped and one has been added. And should we go to assignment group, administration group, positions, you've probably worked out already that when we look at the row ID of the different positions, specifically the French visa clerk, we will notice that the French visa clerk position has been added and many of you will already recognize the famous row ID of Siebel administrator position and that would have been dropped. So we've identified that reporting mode uh, seems to work reasonably uh, reliably on the opportunity assignment object. Taking it a step further, what about an assignment object 
that has no corresponding extension and no other object that could be used. So we only really have four here that we could use. Uh, well, what happens if we want to use a different, completely different assignment object? For the purposes of our exercise, let's assume that we wish to run reporting mode assignment using the PUB case assignment object. So let's go ahead and create a new table with Siebel database extensibility and we'll use the standard set of columns from the other uh, example tables and we'll add a foreign key to case which is necessary for us to be able to retrieve the case ID when assignment mode assignment is running in reporting mode we will compile the repository and we will apply these changes making sure that in this case I'm applying them to the server so I'll just finish entering my foreign key column and then we'll proceed to apply and compile so in summary we've created a new CX table which has exactly the same structure as the other existing assignment mode reporting mode tables so I'll go ahead and apply those changes and compile the thing that compile the changes as well verify that the table now exists in the database and I will start a new batch assignment job this time I will take a chance and look in the log file immediately I can see that the assignment is running as normal the record has not been changed so the case I created has not been changed but there's a large number of changes here and I'm going to query in this file to look only for one of my cases and I can see that one of my cases had one record that is static and three positions that were added and it's I'm sure it's not really necessary to tell you that those three positions are the three positions that were on the uh, criteria that were on the uh, assignment rule so in summary assignment and uh, reporting mode seems to be an excellent way of performing what-if analyses. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.